that one was long. Surprising escape. Well, I'm trying to get the 96 Mustang back on the road today because the 03 Ford Explorer's rear wheel bearing is now shot. So, of course, bringing the stangs out from the winter ouch, means battery issues. And this is the 03 Ford Escape. And I was going to swap out batteries from the Escape to put in it and come find out the battery's dead. So, um, the battery in these are different than your standard batteries because on your standard bat, on your regular batteries on most vehicles, your positive is on your, as you're facing this, is on your right side and your ground is on your left. Well, I don't know why they did it that way. But it's not interchangeable. It's a special battery because of the uh, uh, battery terminals. But what I want to do well, and then but you could use this, and we just did. I put the I put this in the uh, '96 Mustang, so that's interchangeable. Well. I found a, I had a battery that had the terminals dead center. And with them being dead center, it has no problem with this hooking up, hooking up to it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling this out so I can uh, charge it. I'm down here where I can't charge it. Let's get, this, let's get it out of here so I can get it up there and charge it. Right now, it's uh, it is dead, dead, dead. <laughs> oh man, come on! Yes, uh, Get I mean, it's dead, dead, so um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to I use the jumper box to get it to jump, start, or jump, jump charge, should I say. They're just getting it out of here. They should have done that previously. Oh no. I don't know if I got deep enough. You're right on it. Right? This one's right on top. stuff on that. Alright, great. Get the battery. battery out. I said so we're gonna jump. Jump. Jump charge on it because it is dead dead. That was that went quicker than I thought it was going to. <laughs> bearing done in the next couple of weeks, but I really don't have to worry about doing that, getting that, getting that done until November. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and buy the, go buy, go ahead and buy the bearing, and 
then uh, go from there. There we go. That's how you remove the battery in an escape. And again, the difference in the two. Um, you know, standard battery and a um, escape escape battery. And coming into a 2006, uh, 2006, you would hope that they had made something a little more universal, but I don't know. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some juice from the jumper box on here. Okay, so once I do that, it'll put it'll put a charge on the battery. It'll start it'll start charging it. Once you put the jump, put put the charger on it, it'll get an indication. Start charging. This is a good, good battery. I don't know when. We just bought it. I bought it at CarQuest. I don't know how long ago. Probably two or three years ago. So let's see. Set that for that for the moment. Did, I guess they did change the system on the 2006 from the threes. Because if you might remember, the, um, your positive was coming from over here, coming this way. It wasn't coming from out, coming from the front. Now your ground ground's still coming from the same, same position. So as you can see, this battery here um, is not specific to this vehicle. It just happens to have the poles in the middle. But this is a unique battery because it's un it's universal. You can have um, you can have connectors in the front of this, and then you got um, your poles. Are right in the middle, so uh, uh, this winds up being a unique battery. Also, unfortunately, it's too tall to go in the Mustangs in this place. Um, this is a low profile, as you can see, and this is a this is a taller taller profile battery, but it fits just it it fits just right in here because you still got you still got height here. And then, because this is going to come down and sit right on here, so you still got plenty of clearance. And then, uh, for for a tall for a tall battery, but uh, this is this is the original, or this is the battery that would go in here if it was going to go in here. So, all right, looks like I'll, I've got a pre pre charge on this. Hopefully, it will uh, continue to charge when I put the charger on it. Now I've had the jumper box on it for a little while. I mean that battery was totally it was totally dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the turn the jumper box off. It does show it's showing red. So battery still got some got something going on with it. Now Question is, am I going to get a yellow light on the charger? We get a, you know, it means we will get a charge. Maybe that. All right. Yes. All right. I like that. That is a good. That is a good sign. I'll plug it in. engine cord in.
it's okay. See the see the lights blinking. That means it's starting. It's starting charging. Sweet. All right. We'll get that charge back up. Put it back in the. Put it back in this and just go escape. And then as soon as she gets her. As soon as we get the battery for her Mustang, then uh, we'll have two two batteries now to keep them keep them charged, keep them up. Uh, oh, well, it seems all the other ones working in, in hers. I'll probably put it in mine because now my my Mustang doesn't have a battery either. So. All right, here we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. So if you got a dead battery, get your jumper box, and then uh, see if you can get get it to uh, start charging off your jumper box, and then hook up your charger to it. And uh, if all goes well, it'll charge the battery back up. All right, we'll see you on the next Project Mustang, I guess.